uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will basically tell you a new tool that i added on my website freemediatools.com so this tool allows you to export your microsoft excel sheet to pdf document instantly so you can see this is a tool that i prepared for you guys you can also check out the live demo the link is given in the description of the video and uh, you can see this is a simple interface that i created using bootstrap we have a upload file button where you can select your excel file let me select this button here and i will select this microsoft excel file guys if i open this now this will contain this data right here you can see that it has various records out there of individuals we have column names order rate region manager salesman so if i want to basically export it this data tabular data into pdf document so what i can do i can simply need to select this and after that we have a button out there which is download pdf file so as i click this download pdf file button the progress bar will animation will happen it will upload the file and it will convert that into pdf if i open this you will now see the pdf data has been downloaded guys it automatically detected that the data was larger so it split it the data into two pages in pdf document and now you can also see the coloring scheme as well guys it has also got a nice background color of yellow this is having a column names is having gray background color you can instantly recognize that it's an excel file it has various records out there so if i, I in this tutorial i will just, just tell you how to make this awesome tool and you can even use this tool and deploy inside your own website i will share the full source code in the description of the video you can purchase it i have given two links you can purchase it from stripe.com or paypal.com you can make the payment in indian rupees or united states dollar so check out the full description so all the links are there so for doing this process guys we are using a open source library of python which is open py excel it's a python library pdf library for reading and writing excel files and also we are using report lab library as well Report Lab is a PDF library for generating PDF documents in Python. So we are making a background Python script guys which we are calling it inside our Node.js Express application in the browser so that we are carrying out this process. Simple process you need to select your XLS file and then this can be a, we also have the validation as well. So there are two types of files in Excel. There is one such file XLS or xls so both the files we are converting guys xls this format is also supported so if you want to upload that file also you can also upload that it is totally up to you you can see it is sample.xls file so once again the process will take place you will see that so now let's get started guys by building this application so first of all uh, I will tell you the directory structure so this is a directory structure guys after you make the payment you will get this directory structure you will get your project and uh, you just need to after you do that you just need to say a node more index.js so this will start your server that's all so now to basically build this application from scratch guys so I will delete all the source code and start from scratch so this is a python script guys this contains a lot of lines of code I developed it from scratch to it basically takes a input file name let me call this python script python app.py it takes an input sample file name sample.xls and also it takes output.pdf so it is saying that no directory is there so let me just uh, basically go into my directory and uh, just plug this cut this and paste it here let me call this as sample so we have a excel file guys so we can directly call this python script now so you can see that guys it what happened let me see uh, i called this wrong script here yeah so now we have this sample.xls file so it converted to output.pdf you can see guys if file was created output.pdf 
we have that xls file so we convert it to output.pdf if i open that file we have the records you can see that so we will now be doing it programmatically using node.js express for doing this we will be using our express application so just create an index.js file and here guys we will basically include the basic modules so I do this for every tool guys basically I require express malter is also necessary for uploading files inside our public slash uploads directory so this is required guys and also just make a index.html file guys in the public directory so here basically we will have our uh, we are also requiring a spawn module guys this will act automatically call the python script for us in node.js from child process it's a built-in module and then we are including uh, making the static directory as public and then we are including body parser mod uh, middleware that's all so the next step is very simple we need to make uh, the storage object for the malter library so we need to tell exactly the malter library where to s upload our files so we are uploading files inside public slash uploads directory directly here so you can see that so we want to upload it here so that's why we have provided this destination and then guys we will simply say uh, we will use this uh, we will pass it to the storage that the storage that we created and we will only be selecting here single file because we need to upload a single file here xls file or xls file so this is our uh, middleware ready guys so now we just need to make our index.html guys this will be a simple converter the it is slightly complex guys because it also include the ajax code as well for the progress bar if you don't need the progress bar it is totally fine but for the user interface it makes it very much uh, easy for the user to see how your files are uploading so that's why user experience sake progress bar is necessary so this is the actual code here so what I will say guys, we are including bootstrap CDN at the top guys, you will see that we are using bootstrap and then we are including uh, form group class which we are, we are giving a name attribute of file and we have given up ID to it to the input field upload input and we have this progress bar and then we have a download PDF file. So if you just refresh your application now, just type node more index.js uh, just we will start this server on localhost 3000 so the port number oh we haven't started the application guys so we need to start this so this is our interface guys you will see that so now the very first step whenever we select the file we click this button so this text will change uploading file and the button is disabled so this is all happening inside our javascript code that we have written guys in ajax we are basically setting the progress bar to zero we are changing the button text to uploading file we are disabling the button and we are also changing the width of the progress bar and then we are calling this file uh, method guys convert file and we have also the validation as well so if you don't select a excel file we will show here we will only be accepting if you see we have given an attribute to it of we will only be accepting here excel files only that's why and after that guys what we will say here uh, we need to make this uh, upload request guys uh, upload excel to pdf so it's a post request happening using we are using you can see ajax we are using and here we are using the form data so here we are appending the file here so this is the same name attribute that we have given guys to the input field this needs to be the same here if you see we have given the name attribute here so this name attributes it needs to be the same here so whatever that you put right here in the form data this needs to be the same form data dot append file 
And now we need to make this post request. So just go to index.js. So you will write app.post slash upload Excel to PDF. And then we will basically use this uh, middleware which we created. We will upload the file and then we will return the path as a JSON response request.file.path. So it's very simple. We are using this method response.json. So if you check your browser, guys, you will get the response back from the server if you select the file. The file will be uploaded. You can see file uploaded now processing. So you get the path here upload successful public slash upload slash sample dot xls. So now we need to make the second post request, guys. If you see in the index.html, we are making the second Excel to PDF. There we are passing the path property, which is data.path. So now we need to basically make the second post request app.post Excel to PDF. This is the actual logic, guys, that we need to say. So we will get the path of the input Excel file. This is present using request.body.path. That's all. After getting the input Excel file, we will basically make the output file path. So this will be date dot now for dynamic output dot PDF. So every time a new output file name will be generated using this date dot now. And after that, guys, we will use basically our uh, we will make the Python process variable and then we will use the spawn module. So this basically calls the Python script guys. So Python and then we are passing the arguments. So app.py is a Python script name. And then we are passing our Excel file path, which is input Excel file and the output file path. So these are the two arguments that we are passing to the Python script guys. So it contains a uh, event guys. So whenever the uh, it is over executing it, it will return a code to us. So if the code is zero, in that case, our script is successful. So here we will simply check if the code is zero. In that case, we will say that conversion successful. And now your PDF file can be downloaded. So what we can say response.json path is equal to output file path. That's all. And if else, if the conversion is failed, in that case, we will say console log conversion failed. So this is very simple guys, uh, very simple code. We are calling the Python script and then we are simply checking its status. We will be returning a response to the server that conversion failed. Error unable to convert. That's it. So this completes basically, if you see guys, so if I refresh, uh, select the file. So once again, guys, what will happen? It cannot uh, find the slash download. So as we can see, guys, we are making a request in the index.html. Whenever we get the path, we are making a slash download request. So this request is very common. If you have watched my previous tutorials, this request is present in all the tools. It is used to download the file as an attachment. So this is a very common code. Uh, whenever the file comes after the processing is over, we download it as an attachment. So in this get route, we basically get the request query path and then we response dot download. We use this method to actually download the file as an attachment. So this is really simple code. And uh, if you now refresh your application, you will be able to convert the Excel file to PDF. So now you can see your file has been downloaded guys. So this is the actual Excel file which is exported. So many a times we user want to export their data to PDF. It's a very common tool to have and many websites provide it. And if you can rank your tool on Google, you will get a lot of traffic as well. So if you search Excel to PDF, it's got a decent amount of volume converter. You can see that. So. If you can purchase this source code, guys, you can do it. The link is given. You can do it from Stripe or PayPal. 
and uh, the live demo is also given first of all you need to check before purchasing it go to freemediatools.com slash excel to pdf and check out the live demo so you can even contact me after the payment i will definitely guide you how to deploy this tool into your vps so vps is required for this node.js need to be installed on your system and also python should be installed and you should have root access to your command line this is a tool guys that i developed and thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video